Hello friends, welcome to KB Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to see the difference between string equals and string content equals. Before entering into the tutorial, I have a program here. Try to guess the output and put it in the comment section. Let's see who is going to give the correct answer for it. I have a string, I have a string builder and I'm comparing the string values with the string builder with the help of equals and content equals. And let's see the output of this here if you see here the output of this is this one is a correct answer the above one is a wrong answer actually this is one of the trickiest interview questions that you can expect so why here what is happening is string str is a string type std is a string builder and equals will only compare the data between the similar types that is of string types here content equals will compare the data between the string family types that means string builder and string buffer if you see here this is the motive of my video is difference between equals and content equals i'm going to put it in a code so that i can explain more clearly to you guys okay so string equals will compare the values of two strings if both are same it will return true if both are different it will return false whereas content equals will compare the values of string with the string family types which includes string builder and string buffer so <coughs> what i'll do is let me try to delete this and explain here i'm using codechef ide so i have one uh, main method here so what i'll do is I'll take one uh, string like str which is hello world then <clears throat> I'll take string builder type std is equal to new string builder of str with the help of the already available str I'm building a string builder here okay then let me try to print the content equals and equals outputs here. Print it in str dot equals of std. The same way. Then of str dot content equals of std. So here I am comparing between string and equals between the di different types here. So let me try to run this program and see the output. So string data I am comparing with the string builder data here executing now you can see if i compare the string data with the string builder with the help of equals i am getting false whereas when i am comparing the string data the string builder with the help of content equals i am getting true in a similar way let's try to use string buffer as well string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of str System dot out dot printed length of str dot content equals of sb which is my string builder then system dot out dot print ln of str dot equals of sb Here, for our understanding, I will put this lines compare between string and string buffer with equals in a similar way.
पे स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग बफर and paste it over here this string builder a similar way copy and paste it here because these lines will add some meaningful message when somebody is reading it's easy for us for us and for them to understand clearly There is some issue here. Uh, some semicolon is missing. Okay, I got it. For this one, there is <coughs> closing brace is missing. Now let me execute again. This is actually very good uh, idea, guys. If you are using internet, if you don't have anything properly. Uh, properly installed in your laptop then you can use this one now you can see actually there should be one space but it's not uh, not given it's okay if you see here compare between string and string buffer with equals is false it's compare between string with okay actually i have copy pasted no? so that's why it's coming like this string buffer okay this is compare between string and string buffer with content equals Okay, with equals. Sorry, sorry. Actually, extremely sorry. This should be here. Content equals. Okay, between string string buffer string um std string builder, isn't it? String builder. String builder. String builder. Okay. Now let me try to execute. Yes. Now it is compiling. Now if you see comparison between string and string builder, which is std, with the help of equals is false. Okay. Whereas comparison between string and string builder with the help of content equals is true. In a similar way, comparison between string and string buffer with a content equals is actually true here with the similar way comparison between string and string buffer with the help of equals is a false so when you have a two different types and when you want to compare those values use content equals instead of content equals method that is what i want to tell you in this video and please try to execute i'm going to put this code uh into the notepad at pw and i'm going to pin that in a first comment so that you can also refer so thank you for watching my video guys and please do watch other videos of the same playlist and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you